The Great Bastion. More than a wall, a symbol of everlasting defiance is besieged. Demon armies in service to Tsinch, the Changer of Ways, have amassed at the Snake Gate, the Turtle Gate, and the Dragon Gate. A three-pronged attack to overwhelm the wall and corrupt the lands of Cathay Beyond. Miao Ying, the Storm Dragon, defender of the northern provinces, master of the storm winds, and supreme matriarch of Nangao, rides with her army to once again drive back the Chaos God's advances. The Snake Gate, one of three heavily fortified gateways bridging Grand Cathay and the Chaos Wastes. A fortress built into the Great Bastion itself and a key defensible position for Miao Ying. Seldom do the demons breach it, but when they do, Grand Cathay is plunged into suffering. If chaos is not stopped here, it's the lands beyond that will suffer. Best to face these demons head on in a fortress built for defense, than to allow them to encircle and besiege any one of Cathay's majestic cities. Should the unthinkable happen, Cathay is not indefensible. Chaos will find every inch of every street hard fought and shielded every step of the way. The Dragon Emperor would expect no less from his loyal subjects. Miao Ying is the firstborn of the Celestial Dragon Emperor and commander of the Great Bastion. She is the Storm Dragon and expertly wields the Law of Yin to both smite her foes and grant boons to her soldiers. Grand Cathay at its core approaches war defensively. Centuries spent beating back the endless waves of chaos has taught them to covet the delicate balance between soldiers and the unparalleled strength of magic and black powder. Unbreakable lines of spear and swordsmen to hold back the hordes whilst archers, crossbowmen, wizards, artillery, and war machines decimate from afar. This is yin and yang, the harmony between Cathay's combatants, giving heart and order in the face of horrors untold. So in tune with the winds of magic are Cathay's wizard kind, that the mere presence of another user bolsters magical potency. This elemental mastery rings true for two wizards as it does for ten, making Cathay's magical prowess a thing of deadly wonderment, which they'll need in earnest to survive the coming storm. Kairos Fateweaver is the insidious architect of this assault and is heralded as the wisest of the Lords of Change. Cast into the Well of Eternity by Siege, Fateweaver emerged with two heads. The left scries the past, while the right foresees the future. Thus, the Oracle of Tsinch sees both the road ahead and the path behind, but is rendered blind to the present. The demons of Tsinch march forward, their legions unfathomable as they shake the very ground with their approach. Fate Weaver relies on a powerful array of ranged and flying lesser demons to chip away at and harass the Great Bastion, whilst hammering it with horrifying spells from afar. But given the fortress walls to hunker behind, Cathay has the rare advantage in a toe-to-toe -to -toe ranged standoff this day. To counter, Fate Weaver deploys a host of melee demons to soak up the limited pool of Miao Ying's ammunition. To aid in their approach, these foul demons possess a shield of magical energy that Cathay's desperate defenders must first shatter before the creature beneath can be wounded. The drums of war thunder, and the invasion begins. The approach is tough for Fate Weaver, whose forces are hammered by Cathay's great cannons and fire rain rockets. These deadly artillery units can devastate an approaching army, demolishing the morale of even the most hardiest of men. But demons don't possess such mortal weaknesses, and it's the peasant archers and the jade warrior crossbowmen who must chip away at the endless hordes approaching. Nearby Celestial Dragon Guard and Jade Warrior 
warriors create a harmonious battlefield for their ranged allies, making these warriors of Cathay fight all the harder in the name of their Dragon Emperor. But it's not enough. Miao Ying, sensing the impending fall of the Outer Wall, lends her magic and abilities to the fray. She casts Talons of Night to cover the retreat of her archers and crossbowmen, and Wrath of the Storm to bolster the might of her readying Jade Warriors. Meanwhile, Kairos Fateweaver instructs his minions to bring down the fortress gates. To ensure his own survival, he selfishly casts Oracle of Eternity to reinforce his resistance and Gaze of Fate to counter Miao Ying's boost to her Jade Warrior's effectiveness. The fortress is breached and Sinch can almost taste Cathay beyond the Bastion. But Miao Ying isn't done yet. She falls back, retreating to her barricades, where already crossbowmen and archers are docked to cover the exodus. Kairos's foresight makes him a hard beast to outmaneuver, and he didn't take the western path as Miao Ying had hoped he would. She orders her barricades to be deconstructed and rebuilt in the east of the fortress, where the demons are making strong headway. From here, Miao Ying knows she's entering a war of attrition. She's dedicated key hard points to fall back to, and can now only hope she has the manpower to defeat Fate Weaver's forces before her own are overwhelmed. It's an arduous and bitter battle, and forces Miao Ying all the way back to her last line of defense. Here is where the battle is won, or the Bastion falls. Fate Weaver's forces are dwindled but not defeated, and Miao Ying has only a fraction of the brave men and women she began with. With little other choice, she calls upon her greatest of powers and transforms into her namesake, assuming her dragon form. In the face of such raw power, Kairos Fateweaver and his legion of demons are overwhelmed and routed. The Changer of Ways' blindness to the present has lost in the battle. But surely he knew this defeat would come to pass. Snake Gate stands firm, and Miao Ying the Storm Dragon, defender of the northern provinces, master of the storm winds, and supreme matriarch of Nangao, emerges victorious. But an unease settles within her gut. Sinch is the architect of fate, the changer of ways, and such an all out assault is not indicative of his servants. Though the Snake Gate was a victory, Miao Ying cannot shake the feeling that the day's events have heralded a changing of the tide. Fresh threats are awakening, and the fall of the Turtle Gate shows that the Great Bastion's resilience may not be as certain as once thought. 